Thanks for stopping by Al Helmet Art Vlogs. How to make an ergonomic Marini glass cutter with a Lexan cutoff bin. This project came after taking a wonderful glass Marini making course with Larry Pyle. Highly recommend it. In this course we learned how to make Marini and we used some of his cutters. After that course I decided to make my own. As you'll see with many of the blogs that I post, I make a lot of the equipment that matches what I need in my studio. This was done with some simple manufacturing and welding skills. If you don't have these, contact a local metalsmith or manufacturer and I'm sure they can help you. A uh, bunch of material was left over in a scrap bin below my welding table, so I took a piece of angle iron. I welded it on on an angle to form a channel for the glass to sit in. Then I formed a device on the side that I could use as a measurement device. You can see how the angle iron at an angle works well to hold the glass into the uh, channel. This is the heavy duty arbor press. You'll see a link on my website as to where I got this at Amazon. I'm sure you could get it at Harbor Freight or other places as well. Next. I needed some cutting heads and I took apart my uh, LaPont cutting heads and I found some extras online. I'll give you a link to where I found these on uh, my website as well. I then cut a small bar of steel, threaded and tapped two screws, and uh, placed two of the cutters uh, on the top. Uh, the uh, bar uh, that came from the press also needed to be threaded and tapped. You see there's three cutters here, two you can see in this uh, picture from the top uh, that center on the glass that's nicely centered in the angle iron. Once the uh, angle iron was uh, placed on, on the cutter, I had to bevel the end so the cutter heads didn't impinge on the uh, um, steel as it came down. Here you can see the bottom cutter head that's uh, placed in a piece of steel on the end of some tubing and the cutting de uh, length device as it uh, rotates out of way when I don't need it. Next I made a case. We need some place to keep these missiles from uh, flying. So I made this out of cardboard. Uh, I make a maquette uh, out of cardboard with a hot glue gun. Works great. Then I can see if it fits on my device. Uh, you can see the different layout patterns that I use. And just a small amount of hot glue uh, gives you a nice form. I left about a quarter inch space between the machine and the uh, inside edge of the case so that it easily slide in. On the top of the case, I needed to cut a notch in the uh, Lexan so that it would fit nicely. Uh, once uh, this worked with the cardboard, I took it apart. I laid the pieces out uh, ergonomically so that I could get the best layout and use the least material. Lexan comes in a 48 inch foot. And this was, uh, you could easily fit this in a 12 inch piece. Uh, the height of the piece was about nine and a half inches, nine and three quarters. Lexan is easily cut with woodworking tools. I used a table saw to cut mine. Next, I uh, affixed the Lexan together with this weld on glue. It's a very thin liquid. Uh, I draw the liquid up in either a small uh, drip container or uh, a small insulin syringe put a very small amount in the cracks and then hold it together for about 10 minutes uh, and it will be uh, fairly tight. It takes about 24 hours to fully reach its strength. This is the cutter uh, as it sits in the uh, table with a uh, cutoff bin placed. You can see how when you cut the Marini, it shoots into the cutter and saves the missiles from all over the field. This has been a great YouTube video. Uh, it's been fun to produce. I hope you'll watch more of my videos on things I wish I knew before I went to art school. The, uh, your time is very important and I appreciate you watching uh, with us. I also appreciate if you would like us on Facebook um, and any of your social media. Thanks again for spending our time with us. If you go to my website and look under blogs, uh, under this uh, Making a Marini device, you'll see links to buy all the different supplies and tools needed to make this. Have a good day. Thanks.